Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, November 2022 pr uh, prediction reading for Pisces. Um, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements, okay? Uh, so we're going to take a look and see what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for November, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The uh, link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, Pisces. Tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces. What is surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces, uh, what can Pisces expect? for November 2022 for Pisces. Tell me about Pisces here. Tell me about Pisces here. What do we have for Pisces? What's surrounding Pisces? What does Pisces need to know? What can Pisces expect for November? Two of Swords and a Ten of Swords. Three of Cups, Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups and the uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It seems like cycles are ending here for you. We have three tens in the world here. I'm going to take this also, okay, and the Page of Swords here. So what's happening is that I feel like you could be in denial regarding an ending that happened here, okay? You know, I feel like this could be an ending with some friendships here that you're dropping here. Could be a relationship that you're dropping here too, okay? These are people that you you are releasing here uh, because I feel like these individuals are no longer serving a purpose in your life because, you know, it could be a situation that you're raising your vibration your, and your consciousness here, okay? We have the Ten of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. Seems like you guys might be leaving people behind and starting over again, starting fresh, okay? Uh, you guys could be, you know, maybe moving away to a for a new job or that you guys might be going back to school here but there's definitely some sort of travel that's happening here in november uh, because i feel like you know this is your opportunity perhaps to seek something that you are interested in here that you want to do uh in life uh tell me uh the page of swords libra aquarius gemini page of pentacles capricorn Taurus, virgo tell me about this three of cups here the six of cups ten of wands and the four of wands here okay it seems like there's a relationship that's ending here too. I mean, these are people that you, uh, you know, this person could be someone that you've known for a long time or that these friends are people that you've known for a long time here. I mean, the cycle is, I feel like a couple of cycles are closing out for you. It just It's just not one, just this is like, this is huge, this is big here. There's big changes coming your way here, uh, Pisces. Tell me about the 10 of cups. Why is the 10 of cups here? What, oh. That's too many. Okay, Ten of Cups. The Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Page of Pentacles here, and the Ace of Pentacles. There's a new opportunity here for you, but you're turning your back on it for some reason. It's like, I feel like you don't want to leave these relationships behind, but I feel like you have to leave it, but I feel like also you're not ready to leave it because you've... It, invested so much energy and emotions into these people or into a relationship but it just seems like it's closing out yeah I, I feel like there's a new job offer that's coming towards you um where there's a potential for prosperity here uh, but you have your back turned to it though yeah I feel like you just, I, you know, I feel like a part of you really just wants to keep these relationships, even though if they're unhealthy or something like that. I, I feel like you have a hard time letting people go, Pisces. Um, what else does Pisces need to know? Yeah, you know, I, I just feel like you have your back turned to the potential for prosperity here for a fresh new start. What else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to look out for and work on here? 
for November 2022 for Pisces. Let's see what we have for you guys. The strength card, Leo energy, then six of swords. We have the five of swords here and the two of pentacles. We have the knight of swords here and the ace of swords. It's, it's, I feel like you're going to gain the courage to move forward here, but I feel like you're having a hard time maybe going back and forth here with the two of swords. Leo energy with the strength card. We have the five of pentacles and the two of pentacles. Yeah, you keep going back and forth. You keep second guessing your decisions here. You have the Knight of Swords here and the Ace of Swords. You know, I feel like what's happening here is I feel like you're going to have a major breakthrough here. And I feel like you're going to go for what you want. Or go towards this new direction that you're choosing for yourself here. Okay? So, you know, even though you're going through this process, just go with it. Yeah, don't second guess it. Don't challenge it. Just go along with it and things will start to become clear for you. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here with the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Strength card here. With the Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords here, and the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be an indication there's someone here that's trying to gain the courage to come, come back towards you. Because whoever this is, romantically, this is an individual that wants to work things out here with you. Yeah, King of Pentacles. Could be an Earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you might be having a major breakthrough about this new job offer that's coming towards you. And you might, you'll see, you're, I feel like, you know, there's an energy of definitely, you know, having this breakthrough and seizing an opportunity here. Okay. And leaving this behind, really closing out these cycles here and not looking back. Uh, because I feel like these cycles that you've been in with a lover, friends, I just feel like they've, they've been really, really painful and really, 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 really challenging. The Five of Swords here. Why is the Five of Swords here? We have the Seven of Wands. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles here. We have the Knight of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I just feel like you're putting yourself first here, Pisces. Okay. I, I do feel like there's an energy of being pulled in two different directions because I feel like you're also... Um, acting based on your emotions and your heart here. Like, like I said, I feel like there is the energy of having a hard time leaving someone behind, uh, someone that you're romantically involved with, and some friends here that, that, that you're trying to leave behind. Tell me about this uh, Knight of Swords here with the Nine of Wands, the Ace of Swords here, and the Queen of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So, you know, I feel like you've been hurt by this whole situation here. And, you know, I just feel like you're tired. You're tired and I feel like you're looking for a break and I feel like the break is the big break that you need is right in front of you because like I said there is an opportunity here for you but you keep looking back and I do feel like I do you feel like you will seize this opportunity here Pisces okay so Pisces I hope that this was helpful I hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video like this video if you haven't done so yet subscribe hit the notification bell and uh, i will speak to you guys uh in the next one all right thanks guys bye